we have a piece of, of two inch square by three quarter inch acrylic that uh, five days ago was charged up in a uh, five MeV uh, electron beam. So right in the middle of this plastic, there's a puddle of uh, very angry electrons that are anxious to get out. And this is kept on dry ice to reduce the conductivity of the plastic. And uh, so the charge should still be in there. What we're gonna do is hit it with the center punch in the middle and that'll, that'll perturb the uh, dielectric enough that it'll avalanche. And we should get a flash of light and uh, a little pop. And then once it warms up and we can get the uh, ice off of it, we should see the tree inside. Everybody set? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> this piece of acrylic was subjected to a beam of about uh, four or five MeV electrons and you uh, choose the kinetic energy of the beam so that uh, most of the electrons come to rest inside the acrylic at some depth close to the middle. So you have this puddle of stranded charge inside the insulating material and then Sometime later you can come along, in this case it's been five days, but this piece was refrigerated. You come along with a sharp tool and strike the plastic and the shock wave causes the dielectric to fail and it causes the trap charge inside to rush out at, at a point. You can see these feathery discharge trails, which are the paths that the uh, electrons sort of gathered into and took on their way out toward the uh, the fracture caused by the, uh, the tool, and they have this sort of fractal characteristic, and uh, you can see they all gather toward the center, which is where this piece was struck. The characteristic of the pattern is, is similar, but the exact nature of it is different for each one. It follows, apparently, similar branching rules as uh, certain plant growths, only it occurs very, very fast. A piece this big, is probably all done in under 100 nanoseconds.